I'm Sarah Richardson. This is Jim. This was Jim's living room. And this is what Jim's living room looks like now, thanks to some help from Design Inc. this beautiful day take me? An appointment at Jim's, who I hear wants to add drama to his living room. Hello. Good morning, how are you? Good. Come yeah. on in. Nice to see you. So you've got tons of space in here. Absolutely, yes. Uh, did you finish the floors? We did not, okay. no. I think it's oak. Um, it's just funny that the, the color really changes it. But you could, um, <laughs> I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I've just never seen it this color. I guess it's sort of a cherry stain. But you could do, uh, we, we, could, we could get you a quote on what it would be mm -hmm. to change the floors. This space is fabulous, but Jim thinks it could use a lift. Like maybe painting out all this woodwork. We're quite, uh, quite willing to look at painting it out. Yes. Now, what about the fireplace? It's a dominant feature in the room, and yet, it's not my favorite piece. Okay. I'm much more a natural wood burning fireplace person. Okay. Would you still want to have bookshelves in here? Well, that's something um, that we don't necessarily need. They're not in keeping with no. the character of the rest of the house. Exactly. Let's just say. Exactly. Bye bye bookshelves. This is a pretty large space, and what we can do is we can provide you with some just concepts and ideas of how it could lay out. Whatever it is, I don't think it can become fussy and cluttered. Where do we go from here? I'm thinking clean, streamlined, and pulled together. Make it work for the family and the occasional opportunity to entertain. And Tommy's my guy. Uh, a bit yesterday, a bit today, Tommy likes mixing it all together. From the Philippines, my grandparents brought back. That's really fun. Yeah, yeah, it is nice. Well, it's good to have one thing that's gonna stay in the room. One. Okay, what about covering the rads? It's probably a good idea. I remember you had said something about elegant and formal. That's not looking elegant. <laughs> <laughs> no. Jim and his family have lived here for just a few months. He and his wife Margot are two very busy people, but they're really into the project. It's a big space, and bigger isn't always better. Creating a floor plan is a challenge. Chairs up here in the front and a nice ottoman or something. Right. We've got a big rad here. I think we should eliminate the built-ins. Okay. Because I don't think they're of the right quality or style or anything to sort of move forward. And then we need to figure out how this whole seating arrangement plays out. Uh, are we only considering doing paint in the room? Or you want to see some wallpaper? I'm wondering whether maybe something with a bit of texture to it might be. Sure. Um, I'm game. And I think it would be interesting to look at more classic pieces. It's not this is a pair and this is a pair and this is a pair and this right. is a pair. So it's sort of matchy matchy. Here you go. Instant living room. Right. Delivered to your door. Right. Time to test the waters with Jim. Let's see if he's tuned in to our vision. You had said that the fireplace was a big priority for you, that you wanted to enjoy that. Sarah's come up with a grouping of furniture which sort of flanks the fireplace in a way that you could actually put a small table in the center. I'm very intrigued with that one. I like that, uh, I like that arrangement quite a bit. So, we're okay on the floor plan, but sometimes that's not enough. We need to see things in place and start to solidify ideas in our own minds. This room is way not nearly as big as you said it was. Tommy, he's so lying to me. That's not 25 feet. I don't think it's gonna take nearly as much furniture as we thought. Like, I think you could go to the back with a sofa and chairs back there. The sofa's gonna be that. And then a big coffee table here. And then you do another whole thing over here. We could have a chaise here. And then we have the sunroom as the kind of lounging spot. And that way you end up with one, two, three, four distinct seating areas. Can it be this easy? So far, I have not had a feel at all for that room. 
Not if we don't all see it the same way. I was thinking about going quite dark. Mm -hmm. But having said that, I do think that we should paint out the trim in an off-white. Yeah, that's tricky. I did one color scheme, Sarah did one color scheme. They were polar opposites of each other. Yeah, complete polar opposite. I was okay. thinking light trim, absolutely, mm -hmm. but I was thinking light with a bit of a smoky edge to it, so a bit silvery. Jim has decided to prioritize the chimney and getting that fireplace to be a wood-burning fireplace over refinishing the floors. The fireplace has turned out to be the classic unexpected expense. And okay, they don't like the floors and neither do we, but the fact of the matter is that their budget the only allows for the fireplace to work. Everybody thought it would be an easy, quick thing to fix, and instead it's taking about one-fifth out of our budget, which is coming directly from anything decorative with impact, and that's too bad. Which means we're stuck with red floors. It's not my usual approach to tailor a room to a design flaw, but our budget isn't going to budge. Tommy's strength has never been prioritization, and he wants to do it all. But every project has a limit, and we need to stick to ours. Let's just keep okay, the budget let's in the <laughs> Changing the floor is not in the budget, so we need a solution. I like this rug very much. I'm just not sure that it would, you know, in terms of size. So it looks like this rug's not going to happen. Yeah. We've got limited time for meetings with this busy couple. And then we bring in some hits of really bold color. In this Only to be thrown a curveball on paint. I find this is very peanutty. Jim. Good morning. How are you? Meet his living room and his red floor. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. <laughs> just never seen it this color. I guess it's sort of a cherry stain. The fireplace has become a priority and the budget won't budge. We're dealing with floors now that nobody wants. Time for a cover-up. That one's beautiful. I'd like to thank one crumbling chimney and gas fireplace for keeping us from restaining the floors. <laughs> We're putting faith in Persian rugs to minimize the red. Okay, so this one is a sort of rustic knot. So it's a thicker wool. Oh, I like this rug very much. I'm just not sure that it would, you know, in terms of size. No. Now, this is a new production carpet. This is um, made in Tibet, a bit more contemporary. No, I'm not <laughs> adverse to purple. It's, I think, in terms of scale. It's too much it's something. Too, yeah, yeah. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. And I'm not sure that the just the general design is not my favorite. So it looks like this rug's not going to happen. No, I don't think so. Okay, we can easily go with a long piece of bound wool broadloom, which could act as sort of the neutral ground for the room, would help us to kind of ignore the floor for now. I'm concerned we might be losing the drama in Jim's living room. The fabrics are going to have to be the star of the show. After a bit of negotiating, Tommy and I came up with a plan. I have that fabric that you gave me. And... Nice to see you. Hi, Marco. How are you? Tommy's doing the pitch. He's got a five-minute meeting in the boardroom with Jim and Margo to update them and make the sale. We have, in this palette, it's sort of turquoises. We pulled together three schemes and have chosen one to move forward. This is the next one. This is more earthy. Yes. This is a much lighter palette in terms of the background, the foundation fabrics. Mm -hmm. So these are the kinds of things that'll go on your big furniture, mm -hmm. your sofa, your chairs, probably the chaise that's coming. What Sarah wants to do is create variation of texture while keeping the overall background palette fairly neutral and fairly in keeping with each other. And then we bring in some hits of really bold color yeah. in this palette. So these could be possibly a bench or an ottoman, throw cushions, I love this color velvet. Oh, yeah. You showed them three different schemes? I did. Okay. They chose this one. Okay. I think I How remember you I saying, yeah, you had thought that they were going to choose this one. It's the most classic. I like them all. Okay. Don't open this, this one for? all the way because I spilled peanut butter on it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, what have I told Don't you about tell. eating with samples? What if this went on the two chairs? On the, in the Olivia front. chairs. Yeah, on the pair of armchairs going in the sunroom in the front area. Beautiful, stunning on those. And here comes the what drama. If we did something that actually had some, like something I love that. in this color. Yeah. What if we put this on the shows? 
I'd love that on the chaise. Because right now I'm feeling that he's not exactly sure about this chaise. So this right. is either going to push him over the edge to love it, or he's going to think I've lost my mind. And if Maybe I have... This could be a costly mistake, but I really believe a chaise in this color can make the room. Fingers crossed, they'll like it. Just when I thought we had all agreed on a color scheme, Jim and Margot have taken matters into their own hands and tested some paint colors. But isn't that what they hired us to do? He mentioned that he felt that these colors were too taupey. Okay. They went through their own fan deck yeah. and found a color called platinum. This could really set us back. Platinum. Better check it out because we can't order furniture until the paint color and palette are locked. It's too brown for you. I don't like platinum. Okay. But. I don't have to sit here forever. I find this is very peanutty. Okay. And I, it's it's got a lot of yellow mm -hmm. and it's got a lot of orange. If you look here and look down at a more intensified version of this color, like look how orange that is. I know. And look how brown that is mm -hmm. and how much yellow is actually in that. Mm -hmm. These guys need their paint by tomorrow morning and we have four hours left in the day. <laughs> Two clients both at their separate jobs. How about moth gray? <laughs> we have an entire room to furnish, a fireplace to make work again, draperies to be chosen, and countless Andrew, details. So I've, got to get, I've got to get that done. Where are we stuck? On paint color. It's not looking good. Uh, Why don't we meet back I here have after to go lunch? To my car and panic. <laughs> no, don't go to your car and panic. We're giving Jim's living room a lift. I do think that we should paint out the trim in and off white. Did someone say paint? I don't like platinum. We have four hours left in the day. <laughs> Two clients both at their separate jobs. How about moth gray? <laughs> we need to fix this. Tommy's rolling up his this sleeves to help us meet deadlines. <laughs> this is like me trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with a car. I might as well just be like overseas participating in the peace talks. Okay, these are the paints that we don't like. Paint that we do like is actually right above the fireplace on the um, left hand side. And I, ha I should really have that here actually by this afternoon. We've actually found okay. a paint color that everyone likes. Okay, perfect. And it's my choice. Perfect. Once it went on the wall, it was a no brainer. However, we've still got to deal with the fireplace surround. It's not gas now. I think I'm just going to drive it. And if it breaks down, Sarah. She always knows what to do. Let's make a plan. Let's go. We can finally start working on the okay. details that will give this room its charm. We've chosen the custom and furniture and upholstery fabrics, but there's still lots to do. We better stay focused. Does it clash? <laughs> Just a bit. First stop, drapery fabric to go with the scheme we sold Jim and Margot. That is the perfect color. I don't know if they have enough yardage of that. They'd have to have another bowl to That's them. the possibility. I think that is beautiful. <gasps> this whole Ooh. section here. Ooh. Yeah. I don't think that really says Jim. No. Microfiber? I think we found a winner. Just a shade off our wall color. Mm -hmm. It'll, It'll hang, hang nicely. beautifully. Yes. I don't think there's 15 yards here. 13. I knew it was too easy. Two yards short of what we need. The search continues. Here it is, Tommy, right here. Is that it? Yeah, looks like it. Mm, it's a little different. No. Nope. No, it is it. That is it. just don't feel the clear. The fabric gods are on our side, and rumor has it that the paint is on the walls. Shockingly beautiful. Yeah. So much, can you believe how much brighter it is? I'm starting to not hate the floors. Not nearly as much. Now that, now that it's not a contrasting wood color. This is the one from our second shop. Did I say that was the color, or did I say that was that the color? That is the color. Okay, so that's chosen. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about stone. I Land quite like here. the Botticino. Is this the drapery fabric? Yes. How's that looking all together? Great, that's fine. Oh, I think it's stunning. I like that the marble has a little warmth to it. Yep. Remember way back when Tommy suggested the walls could use some texture? Are we only considering doing paint in the room? We hired a decorative painter to give the walls a lift with a 30s-inspired hand-painted detail. Now we're finally on to furniture shopping. Ooh, look at this. I love that. Beside, maybe beside the chaise? Yeah. 
know what? We paid twice. I want the viewers to know we paid twice. <laughs> One table down, 17 pieces to go. Since they're so busy, Jim and Margo have put a lot of faith in us. I love that. While they're tuned into design, awesome. like most people, they don't know what they want until they see it in place. I think that in the front room, love those. between the two chairs, love but they're those. going to have to approve all of our choices very quickly. Are you ready for the price of the mirror? Yeah. Two ninety-five. Well, let's take two. <laughs> <laughs> I like that it's modern, but has a reference to the traditional with this sort of dog leg. I mean, I like that. Has a great niche? sort of 30s feel to it. It's a bit like a walker. Okay, <laughs> okay that is just wrecked it for me. Now we can't have that table. Leave it alone. There, yeah. Okay, I love to shop, but this has become a bit of a marathon. Whew, I'm starting to get a little tired. <laughs> oh, I feel so much better. There, rejuvenated. Uh, where do we stand on everything else for Jim? Oh, it's crunch time. I it know. is, you know, there's a long list. Okay, where do we stand on rad covers? Rad covers are in production. I just realized something. What? Remember how the other day you asked me to call and tell them what the stone was on the fireplace surround? Yeah. Well, I called and I was told that nobody was there to take my call. Yeah. So I didn't put in that call. Why do you think I look so calm right now? Because you did it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> this is teamwork. Like this. Right. Um, the rug is being delivered on Friday. And the furniture delivery is Friday? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, let's hope, keep your fingers crossed. Okay. And toes maybe too on this one. Bye-bye. Jim and Margo are away for a few days of R&R, &R, giving us free reign of their home. Let's hope the furniture we chose works. They're due back in town tomorrow, and there's absolutely no time for a revamp of the scheme at this point. This <laughs> is feeling like musical chairs. Someone turned the music on. You know what's funny? The hardest thing about this room has been coming up with furniture plan. Okay, and well, it seems so obvious. Like, uh, You know what? I think it was better. These two chairs in the front. Let's go back to the way we had it. Yeah, I think that was good. And then smaller chairs here. Stick with the plan, man. The electrician is here. The drapes are being hung. Where's the installer for the fireplace surround? Everything else is here. We're just waiting for the fireplace and then we're done. Like it's painted, the carpet's down, the furniture's arrived, the lighting's in, everything is done except that. That's not sounding good. Most installers are on holiday and the ones that aren't are booked solid. We've got to keep the faith. So we wait and see. We proceed as though it's not coming. <laughs> Will we ever be able to cross that fireplace off our list? The fireplace is a never ending saga. <laughs> If there's anything that I can do to facilitate this, I'll do it. And pull Jim and Margo's living room together. Take two designers and two very busy clients. Add red floors and a fireplace that eats into a respectable budget. $25,000 for a living room. Cheap? No. No. It's all part of making it fabulous. The fireplace is a never-ending saga. We got the installers lined up at the last minute to put the fireplace surround in. A lot of begging and pleading was involved in getting it done. <laughs> I think I got yelled at once or twice by the Marvel people. So big. The shouting has stopped, the dust settled. The fireplace right. is We're done. Good. And now we can finally close this room. We need a pipe cutter so that we can get the drapery rods installed. So pipe cutter and installation of drapery rods for the cafe curtains. We need to wash the windows and dust and wipe the tables. Unwrap the furniture, arrange well, yes. Fireplace screen. We've exceeded our expectations on the fireplace, removing the gas fireplace for natural wood burning. It's wonderful. Somebody has to go and get flowers. The sheds, I thought, oh, well, this isn't going to work, and now I see it in here, and I think it's fabulous. We need to hang the pictures. That's kind of fun because it gets color. What about these on the fireplace mantle? That's my vote for both the fireplace. I like this one here. I like it. Do you like this one too? I do like it.
Many, many people think you should never paint wood paneling, but I think the difference in here could never have been achieved if we'd left it dark. I appreciate most in a room if you can walk in and your eye can go from one area to the next and appreciate different elements of beauty in each area of the room and uh, it allows you to enjoy the whole room instead of have your focus just in one area. Working from nothing to, to something so fantastic, it's been uh, an eye-opener. I'm Sarah Richardson. This is Ingrid. This was Ingrid's living room and dining room. But this is Ingrid's living dining room now, thanks to a little help from Design Inc. We've just arrived at Ingrid's. Rumor has it she's got a living and dining room in need of a serious update. Oh, yeah. I'm here to change your living room. Good morning. Come on. So, so, so. Tell me what works and... Uh, well, the dining room doesn't work. Okay. And the armor is beautiful, but it's, uh, it's a bar, basically, and it's pretty okay. useless. The chairs are too big, and I've had the mirrors, and I'm tired of them. I just, I want it to oh. sort of a make under, yeah, calm down, make be under. more relaxed. Okay, more storage, more comfortable, more inviting. It Is wouldn't... it the pieces that you're not happy with or the colors? It's the colors. I okay. restricted myself, really, so okay. that I have been unable to make any changes because the carpet... The carpet kind of does that it too. It sort of does. Ingrid hasn't touched her showcase living dining space in 14 years. Sounds like she knows what she wants, but after waiting such a long time to make a change, who wouldn't need a little coaxing to move things along? <laughs> and what about, is there anything, is there anything that you really, I mean, obviously, you've I wanted, got a nice I furniture. My coffee table I've had for many, many years, and okay. it's very sweet, but it's useless. It's small, okay. low, okay. Um, doesn't. I'm doesn't sorry, but you're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I love my bergeres, but I want them toned down. I, I just, it's in, a little in too fabric classy. or in color? Well, mostly fabric, I think. Okay. But you know, I, I don't really know. Now, what about the floor? Because I can see kitchen and hallway have a nice dark mm -hmm. Brazilian cherry or jatoba or something. Right. This is light, okay. uh, which I would like to darken. That's some lovely artwork. That's beautiful. Yeah. So is that sort of the more, you know, when you look at the all the sort of natural tones, yes, and the lighter palette, they're sort of right. more oystery shapes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that she can actually see it. I mean, my thing is when I see a room for the first time, I can generally see, I see what it's gonna look like finished. And that's the nice thing about working with clients is that when they see it finished, it's generally a surprise. And hopefully it's a good surprise and they like it. I've picked Natalie to tackle Ingrid's space because she's easygoing and adaptable by nature. Personality traits that might help to move the project forward. Now that we've found out that Ingrid's into warm, neutral colors, it's time to find a little inspiration. It's a great price, but see how loose it is? Yeah. She's got a cat. Yep. And I have a funny feeling it's it might not stand up. I like this one. It's got great texture. Mm -hmm. It's not going to show, like, as far as like where. Chairs or what? It could be for the sofa. And it's only $30 a yard, which I think is a terrific price point. Yep. And it goes nicely with all of these. It does. If you were to take the room right now, sofa's here, it's the only place to keep it. We could go with fireplace? a pair of chairs, yeah. We go with a pair of chairs here, mm -hmm. keeping her bare chairs here. So if this is the sofa. Ingrid's job is going to be easy. We've found fabrics and are moving ahead. Feels like it'll be done in no time. Absolutely. Um, what did she think of these fabrics? Those are her favorites. Okay. So she I liked all of these. Yes. 
I had the no pile. So I think it can be really overwhelming for a client. You know, I left a bag you of took 60 fabrics, fabrics right? at her door and said ding dong and ran away laughing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think what she would love is for us to present to her dining, sofa, bergere, tub chair, not a this How's that for editing? So From 60 fabrics, I get to chairs. narrow it down to I final choices that Ingrid is sure to love. So dining room chairs, sofa, desk chair. Can this make its way in some? Oh, well, there's the one yeah. ottoman for the eat bear chair as well. Would you do it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. The ought. Now you well. sent me an email and said that she wants to change your dining room table. She does not want it. We need Absolutely. to get the table figured out before we can order the chairs. And, and it's gonna have a lot to do with the budget. The easiest decision for Ingrid to make is ripping up the wall-to-wall -wall carpeting in favor of installing dark stained hardwood. It gives a sense of flow to this open space. What's happening with Ingrid? The most imperative thing is that storage okay. unit. And is she interested in considering a vintage piece instead of something that's made? I think she prefers something that's made. The way she's looking at it is that if she is going to get something that large and possibly that expensive, mm -hmm. to have it absolutely custom for what she wants. Nine feet, four feet. So each of these drawers would basically be 24 inches across the front. Beautiful. And then each of the doors would basically be 24 inches. Mm -hmm. I'll call either Val or Andrew and just see what we need to do to make this piece work and yeah. how long it's going to take. No job is ever easy the entire way through. And I think sometimes it takes her maybe, you know, a day to think about it. Here's me. I don't want to be too beige. I don't want to be too pink. I don't want to be too purple. I don't want to be too green. What color does Ingrid want to be? It's time for Ingrid to update her living dining room. After all, it's only been 14 years. With fabrics in hand, she must now make some tough decisions. I like that tone better, but I don't like that. I like, I like the, the, the okay. uh, triangles. Okay. More more tactile, more durable, mm -hmm. more kind of all-purpose, if that right. makes sense. That sounds good. Now I pulled Moss this one. Gray. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that. It's quite beautiful. But I, I like not anything too creamy. You know, I do like these, but look at they that. might be, they're look quite different. This, that. Is, this goes Come. with that wall color quite nicely. Is that the um, oh, yeah. faded rose? I like faded that. Rose. Faded rose. Too. I just and don't want to like be this. too pink. That's, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Here's me. I don't want to be too beige. I don't want to be too pink. <laughs> I don't want to be too purple. I don't want to be too green. <laughs> what color does Ingrid want to be? <laughs> Okay, so on the dining room table, there's two pieces. The dining room table has, it's just a simple glass top, and all I'm looking for is a base to support it. So then the next piece is a storage piece. And the idea is that this is to store all of her good dishes, um, glassware, crystal, booze. booze. Uh, I've got an echo here from Natalie. Um, a slab front on all the doors and the drawers across the top. And I was thinking it would be nice to pick it up in some sort of decorative wood because it is such a big run. Could we do something like a crotch mahogany or a burled walnut or... And she wants it all to be on nice, big, heavy-duty pull-outs. This is, uh, we want it to look beautiful. Okay, thanks, million. Bye-bye. Today is shaping up to be a furniture kind of day. Let's check how the rest of Ingrid's reupholstered pieces are coming along. Many of her pieces are good quality, so rather than buy new, we're having them modified to work with our scheme. Great. So this is the, the pair of bergeres is in this fabric. Now, uh, they didn't have enough fabric, so the ottoman that goes with them, we want to do in the sofa fabric. Okay. Then this is for um, two chairs and this little sort of orangey accent, ready orange, is for, there's a little sort of bamboo style side chair. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know the one? Know. Okay, you, so basically you have to wait. rebuild the cushions. Yeah. But can you we still can use, use some of We can use much of the, the envelope still, okay. but uh, definitely put replace the foam and have a maybe a four or five inch band. Okay. We'll try to reuse as that much as That would be good. I just wanted to look as kind of crisp as possible. Yeah. We're using this because we thought this was a good quality sofa, is it? Yeah, oh no. Okay, yeah, it's worth recovering. Oh yeah. Absolutely, okay, good. Uh, Just not in the purple. Yeah. <laughs> Shiny purple. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Natalie has come across a nasty surprise. How's it going? And, uh, well, I noticed this morning that the entire ceiling has been painted. Oh, yeah. 
the, the color we were going to test. Well, it's now the whole ceiling. Right now, if I understand correctly, then Ingrid thinks that the ceiling is so high and the room is quite so voluminous big. and she wants to bring it down. Which is totally the opposite of what I'd want to do because I look at that yeah. room and I would love to, up. I'd yeah. go with like light billowy drapes yep. and make it all white and breezy and make it feel like you're on mm -hmm. the coast. But it sounds like she's trying to make it. Maybe it's a cozy thing for yeah. her to have a darker ceiling. I don't know if you have time today. Sure, I'll pop by. That would be great. This I've got to see. The ceiling is darker and it's all painted. That's a mighty expensive test swatch. Oh my gosh, look at those paint samples. It looks like modern art on the wall. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay, you know what? I don't mind the ceiling. Yeah, I told you. This is I told you. Oh, I know. La, 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 la. I told you so. But, and there's always a but. This ceiling looks like it's sort of wobbling across. And if it's not, if you don't, if the ceiling isn't perfectly straight, it looks even more uneven. That's just the way it's been built. There's not a whole lot of choice. We're gonna live with the uneven wall, lighten the color so it's not so pronounced. It's part of the charm of the house. Fixing it would be very expensive and is not in the cards, I hope. Look at the floors, they Beautiful. look Beautiful. amazing. Yeah. Is Ingrid happy with them? She loves them. I think we're best going with the darkest, I agree. richest color. All right, well, let's see what Ingrid has to say. As you can see, there's several colors, and actually there's several underneath, and they keep getting added to, and it's also hard because the primer is white, and so it doesn't cover. Lots of talk about that accent wall. Now it's decision-making time. So we'll see. Well, it's still not quite right, but it's better, you know, I like it better than the other two. Well, it's beautiful. A lot of red. You know, as my husband always says, just pick a color, and that'll be the right one. <laughs> Where's my coin? <laughs> That's it. How is Ingrid's coming? Well, like any project, there's the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, what's the good? The good is the furniture's arriving tomorrow. The the bad okay. is, uh, what's the bad? Well, the bad is that we're hoping to have the ugly. everything. The ugly is the ceiling color. <laughs> we tried a lighter color that you and I had spoke about, and it made the cut line pop even more. Okay. So we tested that, then we tried the flat, in mm -hmm. the color that she had originally liked. And I liked it. Okay. The other color that we had selected, she found a little yellow, so I didn't want to go with that one. She came home, she just, she doesn't like it. So she's totally cool about it. She's not upset at all. But they painted it, like oh, it's yeah. done. Oh yeah, but it's paint. It can okay. be changed, it's easy. Easy if time and money are no object. Can you make sure that Ingrid is there though when they paint the accent wall? Yes. Okay, so the paint is not going so well, but thankfully, the reupholstered furniture is a hit. Oh my god. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it is. Yay! Oh, it is. Oh, yes. Oh! <laughs> Comes very nice. And what do you think of the quilted fabric from the bear chairs? Well, I love the bear chairs. I think it looks stunning. They're fabulous. Beautiful. As for the red paint on the chimney wall, this is getting painful. Why did I ever suggest it? Well, it's still not quite right, but it's better, you know, I like it better than the other two. Yep. Because it's got more life. I, you know, I like it. And that's three coats, and it probably still could use it. probably could use one more. Choosing a rug is no easy task. Poor Natalie, how is she gonna get Ingrid to decide? Right, so what one do you wanna see first? That one. This one? This is looking nice. Mm -hmm. This is this is nice. I like this. Well, it's beautiful. A lot of red. Well, why don't I, I come back of tomorrow feel. and I'll get some okay. additional colors. Bring my paint deck. I'll pull some fabrics and we'll start and we'll again. sit on the floor <laughs> and, <laughs> and start again. Eventually, we'll find some colors. We hope. Oh, perfect. The wall color is great. We're down to two carpets now, and uh, they're similar, but one is a darker background and one is lighter. So that will help a lot, I think. I would think that once we get in the other fabrics, it'll be much easier to pick a color for here. The floors were the big thing. And uh, now the furniture's arriving, and there's some more coming this week, I understand. So I think it's gonna start to go ahead faster now. This project isn't moving forward fast enough. I've decided it's time to tag team the client into taking the leap of faith necessary to get this project done. Hello, Ingrid. 
Where's Winnie? This is amazing. Isn't this stunning? It's so rich. It looks beautiful with the furniture. I think either one could work beautifully. Mm -hmm. If you mm -hmm. ask me, I like the top one best. But I haven't seen the other one just without this one on top. Why don't we Should take we go a look? Back? Well, you yeah. know, let's do it. That's what we're here for. It's just and we're back to the chimney wall. I think it's hard, especially with a color as strong as a red, you'll never know with any color, even if you do a sample. I mean, the nice thing about doing a sample is I would not want to have painted this wall eight times. However, until you actually commit to a color and paint it, you you'll won't never know. know. No, because that's three coats and it's mm. not enough to tell the color. No. We could start <laughs> with this. Right. And if you don't like this, this could be the primer to put the darker color over top. But then what if we didn't like the darker color? <laughs> <laughs> then we give up. Then after chasing eight colors, <laughs> then, we leave, then we paint it cream. A little designer muscle might help. No, but that's yeah. pretty. But see, that chair even looks good with this dark one over here. Sure, it, it plays well with it everybody. Does. It, it does. does. This, yeah. chair, this chair is Switzerland, OK? <laughs> Feature wall done, which brings us right back to where we started, the area rug. You know, if I have a choice of two, I can't make a decision. <laughs> you know, rock, paper, scissors. Where's my coin? <laughs> That's it. The key is for the rug to work with Ingrid's treasured artwork. This one belongs to this rug. I mean, if you just look at the pinks and the purples and the greens yeah. in both of these, mm -hmm. I, I, I definitely, definitely like this painting looks better with this rug. This one I think would go with either. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this one, um, I think this goes better with this rug. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm really happy today. I was feeling a little anxious and um, like things hadn't gone, there hadn't been much going on the last few days and I was getting a little nervous. But today we got so much accomplished that I feel really good. For someone, a third person, and somebody as knowledgeable as Sarah to come in and just sort of, she just sort of cleans it up, you know? Slowly but surely, we're edging ever closer to finishing Ingrid's living and dining room. We're in the home stretch for Ingrid. It's about time. Hallelujah. Hi. She hasn't changed her mind on a paint color lately, has she? We're anxiously awaiting the delivery of the custom sideboard and table I designed. Hope Ingrid likes it, because if not, I'm footing the bill. Wow. It's the moment of truth. First, I get to lug in the sideboard. Then, see if Ingrid even likes it. This is so gorgeous, I can't stand it. Oh, phew, that's a relief. The color is perfect. It's beautiful. Good morning. Early the next morning, morning and the design ink crew is here to help pull it all together. <gasps> Winnie, it's Tommy. We're officially in the home stretch. Guys, um, so we're pretty close. The brand new beautiful furniture has arrived. So maybe Tan, if you can help me unwrap it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't involve lifting or anything yeah. like that. Okay. Then we just have to hop and make look pretty. Everything's being installed right now. So it's just a matter of unwrapping and arranging and organizing. The desk needs to come back in. We have pillows. Pillows? To stuff. Yes, we, we need do. to get flowers. Yes, and we need to you. review um, Ingrid's dishes and decide yes, on a table the setting table. and all the table accessories for that. Thank and you. then finish hanging all this stuff. Um, clean up. And clear up and get it. Yeah. Great. Okay. okay, perfect. Bring that back. <laughs> do, you want, do you want a preview? Sure. Oh. You know, there were times I, I thought nobody was listening, you know, uh, <laughs> but uh, they were, and I discovered that, you know, as we went along, they were always listening. Hi. Oh, hi. Yeah. Oh, Winnie. <laughs> oh, you want more tummy rubs? Oh, God, you could you see the steam muffins Whoa, diving into that nice every day every time we come aren't they amazing mm -hmm. that's, that's a language for my manners 
Yes. Uh, play it. What, you born a bar? Mm -hmm. I was actually in a manger. chairs on either side here sure. and then the upholstered chairs on either side there. He's just, yeah. yeah. What I always try to think about is creating spaces that are comfortable for your guests to be in. So it's nice enough that you would want to sit in it on any day. The main thing about the living room is that we kept almost all of the existing furniture, with the exception of a few key pieces, such as coffee table and a pair of new chairs. However, with the dining room, it's an entirely clean slate. It's a new table, new chairs, sideboard, chandelier, everything except the lamps. And this was not a renovation. I mean, we did do the floors, but that's, we, we were able to create something. I'm Sarah Richardson. This is Dan. This is Dan's living room. And this is what Dan's living room looks like now, thanks to some help from Design Inc. Dan bought his Victorian style home as it was being built. Seven years have come and gone and he wants to up the ante in his living dining room, giving it a sexy club like it. You've got tons of space. Okay. There's lots of space. I okay, think it's bright. Space. This part of the whole main floor needs to be redone. Okay. For me anyhow. Only thing I want to keep is the fireplace, but not necessarily not necessarily that one. Okay. What about living room furniture? What stays, what goes? Everything goes. How about the lamp? I like the well, lamp. Well, with the exception of the lamp, yes. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm like, if the lamp goes, out. it's going home with me. Okay, <laughs> let's be clear. Do you have any thoughts on fabrics, about what you like as far as sofas go? Like, is it, is, do you want something really sleek, or do you want something that still has some texture, kind of like this wide whale cord that you've got here? Um, I don't want anything like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want... A lot of things in here, I want to keep it fairly... Spare. Spare, yes. Okay. Not, not sparse, but just uncluttered. Well, Tracks. it's vague, okay. but it's some info. Now, what about the dining room? Okay. Um, but what I'm looking for in sort of as a dining area is some sort of a um, relatively simple low table with, I'd like uh, possibly a bench seating on one side and then okay. a couple of chairs or so something. So sort of coming there. across, well, I guess it could either go underneath this window yep. or it can come all the way across here. And well, when you uh, say bench is. seating, you're thinking kind of like restaurant, sort of banquet style? No, or? more something a little bit classier than that, I think. Okay. Um, or maybe a classy restaurant bench okay. style <laughs> banquet. <laughs> they do exist, uh, right? Yeah. Now to add a bit more light to this space by connecting it to the kitchen. <laughs> I'm trying. Anyhow, you see how this, there's a, um, a cut in that wall. Yeah. One of the ideas I had was actually to make a pass through in this wall to bring okay. more of the light through here and open up the two areas. Okay. So one of the frustrations when you're entertaining is you spend so much of the time in the kitchen and you've got this space which you want to use, but there's a wall. If, if the dining Lighting table, seems to be a key issue. We may go with halogens in place of the regular pot lights and track installed by the builder. Let's say not this fixture, but do you like having a pendant fixture of some sort over a dining room table? I think so, but again, I'm not married to it. All right, so we know Dan's after some style, and it's up to Jessica and I to make it happen. She's already cased out his place and has Thank seen a ton much. of clippings of what he likes. This will hopefully paint us a pretty concise picture. You've had a chance to review yeah. all the clippings. Okay, yeah. what have you found from it? Well, one style is really, really sort of um, Italian, modern, sleek, mm -hmm. um, very chic. Uh, less is more minimalist. Okay. And then the other style is a lot warmer. There's more texture. Okay. Uh, dark woods. So how to balance? We got it. We got to sort of meet in the middle, I guess. Okay. So it sounds like Dan is into two different styles. It's going to be a challenge to figure out exactly what he wants and how to make it happen. He needs someone to help channel him and help him 
decide what's worth spending the money on okay. and what's not. Basically, I think the best starting point is um, information. Hit basically anybody who sells contemporary, modern, classic modern, vintage. Okay. And take a digital camera and just take tons of pictures. Perfect. Get an idea of sort of what he likes, and then what I'd like to do is follow up next week, take him on a shopping trip, and let him sit and try and test out and get some really good feedback. I, I just think all those pieces are so sexy. Meanwhile, back at Dan's, we've got a couple of structural issues to address. The fireplace and a pass-through between the dining room and kitchen. Our contractor, Andrew, is helping us get the ball rolling. That's right. Basically, they want to be able to use this predominantly for entertaining. Mm. And the big challenge as it stands right now is that you hit a block and you've got no kind of flow. Right. Five foot opening, the only yeah. coil raise. We have raises. a couple of problems with that. Yeah. OK. Air return there. Yeah, we have an air return here. We also um, might have a plumbing stack in here. OK. Because the neighbors do. You should be now I can see if oh, you got a huge opening. The best answer to any question is to take a look for yourself. Yeah, that's good. That's what I want. As for the fireplace, our goal is to make the by the book builders Victoriana into something streamlined and modern. I don't see why this can't come down and just be a nice low ledge Probably slab. Could. I can I'm have a stone top, can. stone stone, and a new stone hearth and call it a day. Success! Dan's liking a few of the items Jessica has found on her citywide tour, and it's helping us move forward. I mean, that's, that's big nice. greeny, but... Um, I like it a bit greeny. I don't, I don't mind it, but that would be great to lounge on. Chocolate, brown, charcoal. That's looking like yeah. a pretty nice palette. Let's pull some color samples. And I think we found an inexpensive drape solution. I really like the solitary. Well, I think these drapes are a great idea because they are about $35 a panel, and each one is more than three yards long. So it basically, the velvet ends up being less than $10 a yard, mm -hmm. which is amazing. As for paint, if the sofa is a dark color, this is going to, right now, this is already going to open it up. Let's think about choosing a neutral that doesn't have as much punch to it mm -hmm. as the existing wall color. Like, I kind of like the idea of gray and chocolate yeah, through it. Yeah, so do I. So, smoke and chocolate. Armed with a color scheme and first approvals on a few pieces we've scouted, it's time to take Dan shopping so he can look and have his say. I do like that one, though. It's pretty cool. It is very cool. Got it? I wonder if I this part right there. That but I, I like the you know, solid wood table. Something chunky. Too spindly? Yeah, it, this is the part that I don't. While it's always great to shop with a client, there's the risk of confusion if they don't know exactly what they want. You could mm -hmm. use them as more sculptural elements, but then if you need extra seating, you've got it. I like these. Oh, they're great. It could work really well. Look at the color. This color? See, no. I don't know the whole, I don't know the color spectrum yet. I don't think you want it to look like you're in a a doctor's waiting room. Right. Now for a living room lamp. The little. Oh, I, I think uh, for lighting like this, I think you're better off going with something vintage '60s yeah. that has original appeal rather than going with some kind of replica. new pseudo replica. Yeah. Actually, I'm quite, I really like these. They're so comfortable. Oh, they are. I think someone is sold on dining room chairs. So far, so good. Next up, sofas. It's quite comfortable. It's, not, it's actually not that big. This piece is big. It's not that big. big. No, but you've got the room in yeah. that front window, right? It could be really loungy feeling. What I like it's about it is you've the... actually got, I mean, you could have lots of people yes. sitting here. Like, if you were entertaining, you could easily have five people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm thinking the main piece is in gray, accents and accessories in brown. But someone's thinking the other way around. Yeah, the, uh, this is like, I guess you were thinking more brown, but for some reason I was thinking no, more gray. And I, I don't know why. I didn't have, I wasn't thinking a specific color. Okay. Um, it's more a concept, you know, as far as the colors, I don't know. 
I think I was thinking like a gray-brown mix. Mm -hmm. The gray offers more flexibility for paint color and accessories. I think we have a winner and that my scheme is going to stick. Think about choosing a neutral that doesn't have... Now for some dramatic touches. Guys, <laughs> if the sofa's going to sit a little bit out yeah. in the wall, you're going to have some space anyway. Mm -hmm. So to see this as sort of side profile is really nice, and then you could... This is deep enough that if you want, you can put a really narrow vase. Yeah. I hope we're on the right track and that Jessica and I have helped Dan to make some important decisions. Which is more than we can say about the next item on our list, lighting. Okay, this is sure. um, basically what he wants to focus on is having better mood lighting. We want to eliminate the track that's running along here. And what I want to know is if I can get what I can do here with pots. Yeah, we were going to replace these, the smaller ones. Yep. And then actually we're going to do same thing here. One, One, two. And there's gonna be two on this side. Yes. And two mirror on this side. Mm -hmm. um, One little one in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In this little window. Oh, really? I'd be happy if these ended up moving out more towards the corners of the room. Right. So that we can have everything right. in a. Well, I'd keep it a straight line, although today it's looking like a diagonal. And we do two over there. And then there's three in, in the living room area. Right. It's not that bad. We've chosen the sofa, a color scheme, and some key accents. This gives me a bit of time to get a leg up on another yeah, project great. with That's Tommy. Mr. Dan Bain. Dan Bain. Hello. You're supposed to be at work. There's no escape for a designer. Okay, one other thing. With the couch, I am not falling in love with that, which yeah. I thought I would. Yeah. It's really... It's, it's boxy. boxy. And, you know, having a ch uh, table Sounds there, like someone needs a bit of reassurance. It's hard to make such a dramatic change if you're just not sure of what you want, especially in such a showcase room. Can and I come by right now? Yeah, for sure. It's just around the corner. You're coming with me. With that, it's off to Dan's to make it work. But because of this arm right here, I just find it, it shuts off the rest of the Closing room. Closing off the rest of the room? Uh-oh. Can we try spinning it this way? Sure. Yeah. yeah. As two separate pieces, it's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. What I like about this is, this is like, to me, this is the part that you want to use. Right. This yeah. is nice, this is cozy, this mm -hmm. is the fire, this is kind of the whole reason for doing the sectional thing, which is really loungy, but it still looks sleek. I always wonder in smaller, in, in smaller spaces like this living room, whether you have to have a sofa. Like, maybe it's a day bed and just four really great chairs. Okay. Tommy, like if this came here, there's enough room that you could have two different stories here. Like you can still be talking to somebody like back and forth between whatever's happening in the dining room, mm -hmm. into the living room. Like this actually feels like a good size living room now instead of feeling like a little bowling alley. Close call. We've convinced Dan to keep the sofa and a couple of days later, Rob, who works with Andrew, starts tackling our structural matters. First, it's cutting the path through between the dining room and kitchen. This infuses the entire space with bright south light, plus makes entertaining a breeze. As for the fireplace, it's moving ahead as planned. We're simply ditching the mock Victoriana and wrapping it in limestone for a clean, modern look. Brand new day. Remember that confusing lighting situation? We've got to straighten it out. Right. Who told you where the lights should go? My original drawing, or Jessica, or Dan, or a combination? A little bit of everybody. A little bit of everybody. Okay. Yeah. God, I love it when we get to look like professionals like this. It's so cool. Now, I think there should be one in the center of the window, one that spotlights in the alcove. I'd go one centered over the fireplace, one centered. On this wall section, I'd go one centered above the window and one more centering on the wall. Like, how much time have we wasted it's now? It's not a problem. Okay. Just a little bit. It's not the end of the world. Send me the bill. It's not easy, right, Jimmy? Now for the positive. It's all painted, the furniture is arriving, and it's all looking great. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how good it looks. Oh, divine. Dan and Jessica are also impressed. How good is this paint color? Is that what you don't like it? You think it's no, this is great. We found a new dining table. We ordered it. 
It arrived, but we forgot something very important. The dilemma. Mm -hmm. Hey? I'm too far away from my food. So if you like the table... I do. Then I just bought four chairs. Luckily, Dan likes the chairs and wants to use them elsewhere. But it's a scramble to find replacements fast. It's heavy. Chair problems aside, the credenza scores big. It's really great. Yeah. It smells fantastic. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of tea. Yeah. I don't know, it makes the window work. Makes sense. Which it doesn't just by itself. You can use it like a bar. I mean, I just like serving counter if you're having oh. a little hors d'oeuvre party. So to be able to have all that on top of that, right. it's great. With a little hard work and some luck, the Design Inc. team is ready for the final push to turn Dan's living and dining room into a loungy, club-like experience. Okay, so for Dan's living room uh, and dining room, maybe uh, you guys could stick around, Ashley and you, Sarah. Bless you. Bless you. And, uh, and start hanging everything. Perfect. That's one, right? I'm just bruising my knuckles here. I think there's one right here and here. This is the bottom. Holy. <laughs> I don't want to let go. Oh, I know. Okay. You think? Yeah, you know what? Superman. Well, we just hope they're here to stay because I had to make a few holes in the wall first. I was like, whoop, that's what it's done. Whoop, that's what it's done. <laughs> We just have to get accessories, yeah. flowers. That's kind of interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, 79. No, I'm yeah. sorry, you're right. Nine. Let's flip this on its back. Okay. Let's just flip it backwards and we'll Do put it. some felt on it. Come on, baby. It's like wrestling an elephant. <sighs> there. So now the other one goes here. They're a bit awkward. Here. We still want to have enough space there that we can put a little side table yep. and a lamp. It's like Christmas. What do you think of that? Oh, that's perfect for in here. Oh, that looks good. Perfect. Well, I like it there. Yeah. Just wrapping the entire face of the fireplace in limestone takes the pressure away from that part of the room, and now it feels like the sort of center that's gonna pull you in. I love the fact that the colors are relatively neutral, that they're calm. It's a place that I can come into and relax, enjoy, kind of mellow out, um, but it's also great for entertaining. It's fantastic, I love it. <laughs> you know what, let's just go for that making sure that each piece of furniture that came in here had sculptural, textural, and real graphic impact was a big focus of pulling this whole room together. So, so much up, but it's Murano. You know, it's beautiful. It's worth it. It's hot. Aren't these great? Success, we found new dining chairs, woven armchairs for the head of the table, and swivel chairs for guests. They all can be moved into the living room in a pinch. Um, where you have felt? The lime tea table was a real surprise. Easily seats uh, eight people, and so it opens the space up much more than I expected. I think everything is representative of a good mix. High-end contemporary furnishings to inexpensive, vintage, modern, something that's 60s, something with a bit of steel, uh, something teak, but it has enough texture and enough balance and enough color from a whole bunch of different sources. And that's what makes it feel distinct and individual instead of feeling like a cookie cutter that you could get anywhere. It's what I was looking for, which is actually a real shock, because I thought it would be very difficult for somebody to interpret accurately what I was looking for, and uh, this is it. 